quick guide on how to set up TTS Voice Wizard. Here's the link. It'll also be in the description. Um, so these are the instructions right here. You can scroll down to getting started. It takes you to releases where you would download the latest release and you download the first zip file, not the source code. <laughs> And then um, after you have that downloaded, you'll want to put it somewhere, extract it, extract it to where you want to use it. So right there. Next, you open up the folder, just click the exe. Um, usually it will be like a pop-up saying do you want to run this and just click yes um, it might ha ask you to download something you click yes it should take you here and you download the 64 for X version 64 um, next uh, this kind of branches off to what do you want to use so if you want to have like the voice that you see in me use in my video um, you will need a Azure key so you'll click one of these links to set up your um, Azure account if you're a student you can do this one which is better um, but most of you would be using this first link um, after that you'll want to watch this video which will I'll start you. by creating I'll guide you on how to get your key and location slash region, which will go into here. Um, your key and region will go here. So yeah, after you get your key and region, you click the change button so it saves them. And then You'll want to set up your uh, microphone uh, to have it like play TTS through it. So you'll want to go to Control Panel Sound. And uh, find the virtual cable and recording devices. Mine may be named differently than yours, but it's still the same virtual cable that it asks you to download right here. Um, go to listen. You'll want to check this box right here and click apply. There is a glitch on Windows 10 where when you restart your computer, you have to unclick it and do apply and then click it again and click apply again. And now, um, that's how you will be able to hear um, your own TTS because it's going to be playing through the virtual cable. So if you don't click this, you won't be able to hear it, but it will still play through your microphone. Um, so yeah, setting your microphone, as the guide is about to tell you, if you do want to just read it, um, you just go here, and this will be your virtual cable. The output device will be your virtual cable. This is the virtual cable input, and then it outputs through the microphone. And then your input device for the app will, will be any um, device, whichever microphone you use. This is the microphone I'm using right now. So I'll select that. And if you did not want to do Azure, if you just wanted to use like the built-in speech, which is not as good, um, all you would have to do is not have a key in here and um, to avoid the um, pop-up that will appear when you click the speech to text to speech button which I can show real quick so yeah there's this like little output right here which kind of gives you some information so basically it will tell you to go into system speech if you just want to use system speech and enable this to get rid of the warning which will be doing the same thing although the custom voices will not work without an Azure key this is all through Azure.
next to get the text in VR chat. Um, I guess I'll cut and open the VR chat real quick. Okay, so now that you have VR chat open, you'll want to head over to your your little radio menu here. Go to Options, OSC, and make sure this is set to Enabled. So it should look like that when it's enabled. Um, and then you can try outputting text. Um, so if I were to say, oh, let me make sure it's set to the default. The default is it'll send to cat and the VRC text box. So that when you click this button, read this aloud. Oh, I'll put on the cat text box that you set up on your avatar and the VRC text box that is in the game by default. I will not be going through how to set up um, cat on an avatar because if you just follow this link, um, the instructions are very detailed as you can see. There's little gifts for you to follow exactly what to do. Um, if you wanted to set up a hotkey on your controller, so basically you can click the speech to text to speech button without clicking the button in the app. You just follow this link to get the download. Um, and the binding for the speech to speech, speech to text to speech button is control plus G. So you just follow this link, uh, understand how to set up a key binding, and ha just have it set to control plus G. I can show that in mine real quick. So here is that application and as you can see I just have control plus G. Um, L3 is the um, joystick press on a Quest controller. If you wanted to set up the Spotify integration which doesn't need most of the settings or most of the um, requirements that I was doing before. It does not require an Azure key. We go to the Spotify integration setup guide right here. And you could follow these instructions. Last thing, if you wanted to help me out, you can leave um, a GitHub, GitHub star right here uh, by clicking this right here. Or you can donate to my coffee page linked at the bottom right here. Um, yeah, thanks for watching.